Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Carolyn Williams here with Money Reverse. I am here for Stock Savvy Sessions Day 4. Today is the day for your Day 4 lesson of Stock Savvy. Come right on in and say hello, just as you have through Day 1, Day 2, Day 3, and Day 4. Say hello in the comments when you arrive. That is how I do sound check. And also just to, so that I know that you're there. I am so excited to close out Stock Savvy. I'm a little, you know, I, I, I'm going to miss it. I miss coming, I'll miss coming on board and teaching every day and, you know, sharing information. So I'm going to miss it. But, you know, it, the videos are always out here. Thank you. Hi, Christy. Welcome. Welcome. The videos are going to be out here. So and and you'll see me again. You'll see me again. So come right on in. Today is our day four session for Stock Savvy. Day four of four. So this is how we will close out. We've got a lot to go through. So I am going to get started right away. And uh, if you have any questions with anything in the meantime, just go ahead as you always have. Go ahead and post them in the comments. So let's get started. Let's see what we got going on today for day four. So this is where, again, Stock Savvy is if you want to learn about in researching stocks and learn about the stock market, even if you're a total beginner, Stock Savvy is it for you. So if this is your first time joining and you want to stick around, please do so. And there are replay videos of all the other days available for you. So what we're going to cover in our day four session is how do I get from here to making money in the market? How do I go from where I am right now, sitting in my living room, sitting with my PJs on, on the in the car with you on listen, I'm, I'm, this is where I am right now. How do I go from right now, from where I am to making money in the market? We're going to talk about that. Before we do that, we're going to go through an oil dance. The oil dance, our day four session. What do I watch for next? We've been talking about oil. And, and if you've been noticing some things in the news about oil, just let me know some of the things that you've noticed about oil. Just us talking about oil and the energy market sector, it makes us very hypersensitive to this. So some of these things may have been in the news already. You just weren't very sensitive to it. But now that you're more sensitive to things about oil, you may have been noticing some things, whether it's commercials or anything else like that. So, so just share here and let me know if you've noticed some things in the news about oil. We're going to first get started with a biblical investing lesson and then a word of prayer as I do with each of my sessions, no matter if it's an individual meeting with my clients or if it's a, a publicly broadcast training session. So let's let's do that right here. A biblical investing lesson. This lesson is prepare for more, then ask for more. Prepare for more, then ask for more. It comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, the ISV version. The scripture reads, later on, Jabez called on the God of Israel, asking him, whether you would bless me again and again. Enlarge my territory, keep your power with me, keep me from evil, and keep me from harm. And God granted what he had requested. Amen. Now, this First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, this is the prayer of Jabez. You may have heard, if you've heard of the prayer of Jabez, whether there's a book here. I, you know what? I have several of these books, the prayer of Jabez. If you want a prayer of Jabez book, just put it in the comments. I think I have two or three. The first two or three people I see put something in the comments. I'll look at the timestamp. I'll send you a book, the prayer of Jabez. So this is about the prayer of Jabez. Jabez asked God for more. But we need to prepare for more and ask for more. Jabez had prepared God, prepared himself to ask for more. 
So with that, this is a video. I'm not going to go into the full lesson here. What you're looking at is what a graphic of a video. So with that, go right ahead and um, go to Money Reverse University and you can go sign on there, sign up for the free stock, stock savvy course. And it's in there that will unlock all of the video and downloadable resources and things for you. If you need the link to the Stock Savvy session, Sessions uh, course, let me know. Put, and I will put the link here in the comments. As a matter of fact, let me go and pull up the link now and put it there so that you can sign up for Stock Savvy. And that's where you're going to see the video. I do see your request, Christy. I will get you the Prayer of Jabez book. I'll get that to you in the mail. It's a good, it's a good, it's a little book of very easy read. I love this book. Oh my God. So with that, prepare for more and ask for more. And the last sentence of this says, and God granted what he had requested. So I do want you to see the video of my teaching of this lesson. Prepare for more, then ask for more. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you are here with us, Lord. I thank you for making your provision visions available. Lord, we ask for more. We're doing what we need to do in these sessions to prepare for more. We're preparing to expand our financial knowledge. We're preparing to expand our influence. We're preparing to expand and give more. Lord, we thank you for making provisions available so that we can follow your word. And just as Jabez prayed for more, we're asking for more. Lord, show us what we need to do to continue to be in preparation. Give us the knowledge, the wisdom, and the courage to move forward in moving into a new season in our finances. I thank you for everyone here, Lord, whether live or watching on the replay. I pray that your Holy Spirit anointing touches each heart and guides us into the direction you would have us to go as we ask for more. In your sin, Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. The information provided here today is for educational purposes only. Any market information that I share is purely commentary and should not be construed as investment advice, nor should the information be construed as a solicitation to buy or sell any securities of any kind. Now let's get started. I want to, we're going to start out with the oil dance. Here I am down here in the corner. I got a lot on the screen. As a matter of fact, I just want you guys to see. Thank you all for joining. I want you to see, I'm here. I'm here. I just got a lot to show on the screens today. So, um, you know, I didn't put my other light up. I look kind of dark. Do I look really dark? It feels really dark in here. And that's because my light that should be shining on me is over there turned off. So I forgot to do that. <laughs> So let's talk about the oil dance. Anybody learning some stuff about oil? Anybody learning some stuff? Everybody ready to do the oil dance? Hey, hey, we're ready to do the oil dance. Now, the reason that I call this segment the oil dance is because when you do a dance, a dance is a repeated action. It's a repeated group of movements. You know, you go on one side and you do on the other side. You just do the same thing over again. Oh, I see. I'll say y'all learning some stuff and you ready. Okay. You know, when you're doing a dance, it's just kind of, you do the same movements and you move on this side and do the same movements. Yeah. 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 Okay. The reason I call this the oil dance is because everything that I'm talking to you about for these four days about oil, this is not the first time we've seen this. I promise you oil has done everything that I'm telling you about before. The reasons behind why it was doing it is different. You know, the, I'm, I may be doing the same dance, but I'm doing it to different music every time. But the dance is the same, right? The music is different, but I'm still doing the same move. You know what I'm saying? So it's the oil dance. It's the oil dance. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So the reason I say that is because Oil tends to do these movement things a lot. 
maybe not all, it may take years, it may be years between dance moves. It may be years before this dance comes back again, but it'll come back. So I just want you to know, that's the reason I said the oil dance. So I don't want you to think that when you learn this at the time of this recording, when you look at oil four months down the line, what I was, what I'm talking about isn't happening at all. Man, she was wrong. No, no, no. It comes and it goes. It's a dance. It happens and it doesn't happen. So what I want you to do is be familiar with it so you can see what it's doing. And when it when you see this happening again, you can recognize it. Now, I'm going to do a review of what we covered in our day two session. In our day three session, we went through the different types of oil and energy companies. We got upstream companies, companies that identify and extract raw energy materials from the ground. These are exploration and production companies. They're called E&P, and that is called the upstream that's in the ground. And then the middle, we're moving, let's, let's go to the right, downstream. This is where those raw materials that came from the ground are turned into products that we can use as consumers and we can use as businesses. So that process of turning that raw natural material is called refining. And this is where what oil refinery companies do. And so th these are called downstream companies. They also take care of the marketing and the things that we as consumers see and the things that business see, it comes through these downstream companies. They do marketing, they do storage, they do, they do all of the things they do selling. So if you're, you're buying, you know, oil products, if you're buying oil for your car, or if you're buying gas for your car, if you're buying natural gas for to heat your home, all of those come through downstream companies. Okay. And then in the middle, remember, it comes out of the ground with the upstream companies. It's turned into usable products with the downstream companies right in the middle. How does it get from the, from the water to the downstream companies? It's through midstream companies. These are the people that have the pipes. They handle the storage and the shipping and getting it, getting the oil and crude move from one location to another. That's what the midstream companies do. Do. This is the energy supply chain. And there are so many, so many of these different type of companies. And we're going to talk about how they operate. Let me tell you two other type of players. This is a review. We went over this in more detail in our day three session. This is a day four review. Uh, the major integrated oil and gas companies, these are companies that have both upstream, they have rigs in the ground, and they have downstream, they have as much as stores that have their name on it, selling oil and gas products to you. So some of these you will recognize, BP, Chevron, Suncor, ExxonMobil, and Shell PLC. The reason I, and all of these are not U.S. companies, but they have operations in the U.S. Shell is not a U.S. company. Suncor Energy is not a U.S. company. BP is not a U.S. company. So a lot of these are not U.S. companies, but they have operations in the U.S. When we drive down the street, no matter in what part of the U.S. you're in, sometimes you will see these as gas stations. So these are major integrated oil and gas. They do the works. They have the getting the oil out of the ground and then also refining it and selling it to us. Another type of player that we have in the oil and gas industry is the independent. These are the companies that have either upstream or downstream, but not, not both. These are the independent companies. These are companies that we may not have heard of because they're they're kind of deep in the industry. They may not have gas stations or they, they have gas stations, but they may not have any other operations like Marathon Oil, they are a pure downstream company. So Chesapeake Energy is a pure um, upstream company. And, um, you know, so they have different operations. So there's some examples of the different type of companies here. So when you start to see all of these oil and gas companies that you don't know about, it's okay because the industry is so deep and so wide. But for you now, you are more aware these things are not foreign to you anymore, <laughs> okay? Now, in our day four lesson in the oil dance, I wanna tell you, remember yes, in our day three session, I told you, I heard an analyst on the stock show kind of saying some of the same things that I was saying in day one, day two. And then on day three, I heard this analyst share that their this is their opinion again all of this is just pure commentary we neither nobody here has 
a, a, a crystal ball to show exactly what's going to happen. This is just commentary and should not be construed as investment advice, right? But let me tell you what this analyst said. And this is very interesting. They really were looking at this unrest that we have going on with Israel, Israel and Hamas, the war that's there. And so this was a Bank of America analyst. And I saw this on CNBC on 10-25-2023. So what they have is oil price target scenarios. They said basically not even taking into account anything that we've talked about outside of the because you know there's another unrest that's happening in eastern europe with russia and ukraine that is still going on we just don't hear about it anymore but it's still going on so with that we have this war in israel this unrest in israel and so what this analyst said is based on just what happens with this war number one if the war is contained to israel and the gaza strip then they see air oil going to 90 to $95 a barrel, okay? Now, if Iran is engaged, if this escalates and Iran gets engaged, then they see oil going to $120 to $130 a barrel. Remember, Iran and Iraq and Saudi, these are all OPEC nations. And, and But this main thing is what I want to share with you is this Strait of Hormuz is shut down. This is a small body of water that is between Iran, Iran, it's right to the south of Iran, and it is between Iran and the uh, Arabian Sea, the open sea. You have to go through this uh, strait. The main thing is this is a major oil choke for, this is a major choke for oil because there's so much oil in the Middle East to get down to the water to transport it you've got to go through this strait of Hormuz Hormuz I think that's how you say it they said if this body of water is shut down because of the conflict and if Iran gets in the conflict and Iraq is in the conflict then yeah it's very likely that this is going to be shut down you know it just depends on how the the conflict goes. If that happens, expect that oil is going to go to $250 a barrel. Now, remember, here in the U.S., we're okay. We got our strategic petroleum reserves. So, But what we're talking about is over time, we use a lot of these energy products every day. So we have enough to get us through. It's just what's going to happen if this goes over a year and we have either one of these situations happening. So today, just know that oil is in the $80 a barrel range. And here's some potential effects if we see some of these things go on with the unrest in Israel. This is just one analyst from Bank of America that she, I'm just parroting exactly what I heard them say on TV. So with that, there's no, you know, I, I have no, you know, I have no crystal ball to say if this is true. It's just information that I want to share. So with that, what happens if we see the price of a barrel of oil go up to even $90 or $120 or even $250? What companies will make money in that? Remember, we're switching from consumers to saying, oh, my God, I got to pay more for gas. And we're switching to be investors to say, mm, if I hear that oil is going up to be that high in price, I want to know how I can make money with that. I want to know how I can make money with that. So if you want to know, just put in the comments, I want to know. Put in the comments, I want to know. I want you to start shifting from being a true consumer to really being an investor. And this is where your mind set this. You start to think differently about that. How can I make money on this? Now, let's go through. let's go through some of this. Remember the upstream companies, the companies that get oil from the ground? Now, let me just let me just level set right here. Let's just level set. When oil is $50 a barrel on average, energy companies make money. Energy companies make money when oil is $50 a barrel or higher. When oil is below $50 a barrel, on average, most of your energy companies are losing money with their operations. They just can't sell it. Can you imagine 
you know, making, you know, sweet potato pies, taking all the sugar and sweet potatoes and doing all of that and making the pies and baking them using the electricity, but you can only sell your pie for a dollar. It's like, wait a minute, every pie I make, I'm losing money. So with that, just know $50 a barrel oil is the, 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 uh, what do you call it? That's the floor. That's the even break even point. So anything above $50 a barrel companies are making money. So let's start talking about if, if these prices go up really high, how, which companies make money? So I'm going to really talk to you about the effects of high priced oil. So now everybody makes money over $50 a barrel. Let's not get that twisted. Everybody's making money, but some are going to make more money than others. So everybody upstream companies, they're going to have profitable operations. They're going to be the second most profitable Type of companies. Why? Because every, every bit of crude that they're pulling from the ground, they can sell it at a higher price right off the bat. If you could sell your sweet potato pies right out of the oven for $30 a pop, then you don't even have to wait for anybody else to do anything. You make your money right off the pop. The more you pull out of the ground, the more profit you're making. The more pies you pull out of the oven, the more profit you're making. So the upstream companies, they're going to they're going to definitely have profitable operations, not the most profitable, but the second most profitable operations. Here's some examples of some upstream companies, some some ones that I think would be most profitable would be those that are doing the drilling. Uh, Baker Hughes, Halliburton, NOV used to be National Oil Well Vargo and Schlumberger, some energy and drilling companies. These are ones that actually have the rigs in the ground. Uh, uh, Sir, 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 what is it? Sonovos Energy. Here's this Brazilian company and Hemrick and Payne. These are companies, they are going to definitely make more money with every barrel of oil that they sell, every bar barrel of cruel, crude that they sell as they pull it out of the ground. Okay. Now, let's talk about the midstream companies. The midstream companies, these are the companies that are putting, taking it from out of the ground and they're putting it in the pipes and they're shipping it to wherever, they're shipping it to storage or they're shipping it to, um, shipping it to refiners. So these are the midstream players. Again, everybody's going to make money when the price of a barrel of oil is over $50. But the midstream companies are not going to make as much money. They're going to make profit, but they're not going to make as much. Why is that? Let's think about it. If, if you tell me that I have to pay whatever my price is to pay, I don't even know how much it is for a forever stamp. Um, you know, I pay, you know, Let's say it's 80 cents. I don't know how much a forever stamp is. Anybody, if anybody knows how much a forever stamp is, let me know. So I pay whatever the price is for a forever stamp. And you tell me that I can mail anything up to so-and-so ounces in this envelope with this forever stamp. Just because I put something very valuable in the envelope, you can't charge me more to ship it. You've told me the price that it takes to ship the, to get this letter transported from here to wherever the destination is. And if it's in the U.S. and under these number of ounces, that's that's how much it cost. So just because what I'm putting in the envelope is a hundred dollar bill, that doesn't I can't you're not going to say, oh, you got to pay three dollars for the forever stamp for the hundred dollar bill. Sixty six cents. Thank you, Jackie. I can still pay 66 cents, even if I'm mailing a $100 bill. So just because what I'm putting in the envelope is more expensive, the shipping price is the shipping price. That's what's happening with these midstream companies. Let's think about it. They are sharing what they would cost to move oil from one location to another. Just because the oil is worth more, they don't say, oh, because the price of a barrel of oil went up, now we're going to charge you triple to move this oil. Now, they can just raise their prices because they want to raise their prices, or they can say inflation or cost of living. They can do whatever they want, but, the, but directly the price of a barrel of oil doesn't change what they do. 
and, and how much they charge for it, how much they can charge. They, like I said, they can go up because they know everybody else is making money, but the price of a barrel of oil affects them the least directly. They can make it work for them, if that makes sense. Now, here are some midstream companies that I want you to be aware of. Uh, these are some that they, they definitely have pipes and move crude around from crude and natural gas around in one place to another. Now, I do want you to know you can also consider energy and mutual fund ETFs for in investments. You don't have to go with individual stocks, but look at inter mutual funds and ETFs. Mutual funds and ETFs, where you buy one symbol and you get multiple, um, multiple different companies included in that investment choice. Okay, that's the midstream companies. And then the downstream companies, the companies that turn the raw energy products into usable products, these are going to be the most profitable companies. These are the refiners and they're selling to individuals that are selling to you and me. You and I see this. You, you and I see when these companies take their prices up because we see it at the pump. We see it in our gas bill. We see this immediately. We see it in the price of an airline ticket. They're selling the jet fuel to the commercial airlines. They're selling the jet fuel to the, the, the industrial airlines and trains. So, so these are the ones that are going to make the most profit. They, they jack the price up real fast. You hear that the price of a barrel of oil goes up, you'll see somebody outside changing the changing that they don't they can change the signs and the prices digitally now, but you'll see them changing it that day, knowing that they don't need to change the price that day because they're not paying that new price for a barrel of oil. They got they got ga gas sitting in the ground in storage that they paid a lot less for, but they're going to charge us more for that. That's okay. I'm not mad. Again, I'm not getting mad at anybody making money. I'm, we're all trying to make money. So what I want to know is who's making the money and how can I get into buying some of the companies that's making the money when the price of a barrel of oil goes up. So what I want you to do is to really kind of know this is how things work. When you see the price of a barrel of oil goes up, know that your midstream companies, they're all going to make a profit. Your midstream companies are probably the best price companies when you look at stock price, but they're going to have the least amount of profit there based on the price of a barrel of oil. So you'll see a lot of consolidation that's happening too. a lot of mergers and acquisitions. We've talked about a few that we talked about two major ones that's happened here during this session, but just know some of this is also so that these companies can be bigger companies and have upstream, midstream and downstream companies as a part of their global operations. Okay. Any questions with that? Any questions? If that makes sense, just put in there, it makes sense. Now, um, also, let me tell you what to watch. I said, I was going to tell you what to do after because this is our final stock savvy session but let me tell you it's not over when it comes to oil i want to say watch this watch this you know remember when you're a little kid and you wanted to show out you know you're swinging you want your mama to watch this mama watch this watch this watch me watch me <laughs> i did that <laughs> can you tell i was a show off <laughs> i know you guys find that hard to believe but but what i want you to do is to watch this Watch the progression of the unrest in Israel, Israel with and, and then also in the Ukraine, the Ukraine and Russia in Israel and um, Hamas. So just see when these unrest, these, there's a lot of oil potential in the in, involvement of who's involved with these these activities. So just kind of watch the progression here when you see these things uh disintegrate and when you see that there's no more unrest here then we'll probably see the price of a barrel of oil relax up but as you see them progress and there's more and more unrest and things are being shut down and things are being blown up then you can bet that there's going to be a squeeze on oil sometime in the future it won't happen right away but it will come in the future because we have enough preserves to get us through the second thing i want you to watch i want you to listen for opec Organization of Petroleum Exporting Companies. So this is hear what they're saying in their meetings and listen when they say they are, they are going to cut production 
of oil. Again, that would mean somewhat of a shortage in the future. Now, again, not right now, but a shortage in the future. The other thing I want you to be aware of is disruptions in the U.S. refinery locations. And your biggest, most of your refiners are in Texas, Louisiana, and California. There's refiners everywhere, but majority of the refining is on this Gulf Coast in Texas, Louisiana, and California. So when there's major storms that come that may affect or damage some of the refineries or shut down some operations, then that's where you would see somewhat of some oil shortage shortages come up. So these are three things that I want you to watch. When you see either of these things come about where you can see that things that really have a big play in the energy supply chain are being affected, know that that could cause a shortage and know that the prices will go up on, the, on a barrel of oil. So I want you to watch this so you can be in the oil dance and be ready to bust a move. All right. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. I see some of you said that makes sense. Great. I'm hoping that this is making sense for you. Now, if you are, I see several of you here that have taken my 21 days to stock market investing class in the few, in the past, you know, you will get more training from me on this. I'll, I will talk about some of the training that we have coming up because I do continue to teach my students even after the class is over. So now let's go into stock talk. Let's go into stock talk. We are at the final day four of our stock savvy sessions. Let me show you what you have accomplished. In day one, we talked about how big and how much. If you were here for day one, just put how big and how much in the comments. This is where we said if a buddy comes up to you and tells you about a great stock, two questions that I want you to ask yourself is how big is this stock? We're going to look at market cap and how much. We're going to look at 52-week high and 52-week low. If you were here for day one and learned about how big and how much, say how big and how much. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Now, day two, we talked about interesting and rewarding stocks, the IRS that we love. If you were here for day two and learned about interesting and rewarding stocks, say interesting and rewarding in the comments. Thank you guys for your comments. This is where we talked about looking at the volume of stocks, looking at how many stock shares are traded because a stock, tra a stock that is not traded as a stock price that will not move very much. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but if we're trying to make money, we want to have stock prices that move and we want to have them moving in an upward, <laughs> upward manner. And so we talked about rewarding and that was all about dividends, which is where companies reward you just for holding on to their stock. They'll just drop cash right in your brokerage account. This is something I want everybody to know. You know, I met with a client today and this client and I were talking about dividends and uh, this client, I asked this client, I said, how much do you have to put in your dividends? And they told me and they said, oh, I wish I had more. And I go, just start where you are. You don't have to have a whole. OK, I'm going to make this clear. You don't have to have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to begin in the stock market. You don't. Your easiest stock play is to get some dividends, get some stocks that pay dividends. And there are two made. There are several major types of stocks that have to pay a dividend. It's the law. It's the law. They have to pay a dividend or they have to dissolve themselves as a company. So you can get in some of those and just let them drop cash in your brokerage account every month and build up to where you have more money to do more things. I don't want you thinking you need to have this, this huge amount of money before you can even start with, in the stock market. And that's what I encourage this client to do. So with that, I want you to know that too. So that was day two. Thank you. I see how you guys were here. Yay. And then in day three, we did charting. We looked at the charts. The charts tell us the past. It shows us a picture representation. If you were here for the savvy stock charting, just say charting. <laughs> I'm charting. So we talked about looking at stock charts to show us the past, to give us a good clue of what's happened with this stock in the past and helps can, can help to, us to forecast what we think will happen in the future with different stocks. 
So with that, thank you. I see you guys were here for day one, day two, day three, and you're here now for day four. We also went through the oil dance. I spent most of my time on oil. That wasn't the plan, but there's just so much going on. I wanted you to have a full rounded lesson. So I spent more time on oil in each day. If you missed any of the teachings, the, the replays are right here where you're watching right now. So go back and watch the replays so that you can get a full lesson. Even if you say, um, I didn't know I was going to learn all of that. I want you to walk away going, man, I didn't expect to get all of that. That's the way, that's the way we roll here at Money Reverse. Okay. <laughs> Now, just for your enjoyment, there was also homework for each of these days. If you did the homework and want to download the homework as a reference sheet for yourself, in Money Reverse University, you'll see that there is a bonus lesson out there. And it is a video demonstrating how you can download the homework sheet for yourself. This way you can have it. I would advise you to download it as an Excel doc or as a Google sheet, just so you can have that format and you can use it for any other stocks that you're researching outside of this course. It's just good to take a snap snapshot because sometimes you'll look at a stock and you don't remember why you looked at it and then somebody will say something about it you'll go look at it today and you're like what I looked at this a while ago what was the price back then why was I interested back then it just helps us takes a snapshot and it helps to put that picture together remember the past helps you to see what may happen in the future it doesn't tell you but it just gives you the story so you can be a little bit more educated so take advantage of this bonus video that's out there it's in money reverse university it shows you how to dim download that homework sheet that we use all week and you can save it on your own computer okay now one thing i want to share with you is i, I really felt <laughs> felt the need to share this um, and this is why are you waiting? Why are you waiting? Why wait to elevate financially? Why, why wait? You say, I think I want to do that. I think I want to move into some financial elevation. Okay. Why, why are you waiting? I, I, I understand. In this picture, if you look at this picture of this individual, they're standing on a cliff and they're looking down, I can understand why you're waiting to do that. Because that is going to be something that's detrimental to you. If you jump off this cliff, or if you slip and fall off this cliff, it's, it's going to hurt, it's going to be painful, it is going to be not good for your future life. But to elevate financially, to move from being only a consumer to where you are someone that that uses money to your best advantage that follows what what the script the biblical scripture says in Matthew 25 about being a steward of what you have the parable of the talents then why are you waiting why are you waiting to benefit in these market times if you can see i've talked for the last 4 days that I, I've, I've talked for the last 4 days about the price of a barrel of oil that it may be going up soon, then why are you waiting to get yourself positioned so that you can take advantage of that? When it goes up, you're going to be slapping yourself going, man, I knew about that back in October. Why didn't I, why didn't I do something? Why are you waiting to get with the tribe? Why are you waiting to connect with people that are in the same place as you are? Somebody that's trying to go the same places that you're going. You're connected with a lot of people and sometimes they'll be bringing you down, but it is so nice to get connected with a tribe. Why are you waiting to make your money your employee? Instead of you working for money, how about have money work for you? How about have money bring money to you? That's what dividends do. Why are we waiting to do this? Everything we've learned in these four days give you enough information where you can step out and do some of this, even without any additional training. Why are you waiting to get a coach that cares with cares for you? If you say, I think I need something more. Why are you waiting? I don't know what you're waiting for. Why are you waiting to move into wealth? If these are any things that you have found interesting and, and you didn't just find them interesting just now in the last 60 seconds, I'm going to ask the question, why are you waiting? Time is precious. We are intelligent beings. If you believe in, in the God that I serve, 
then you know that he has called us to do things in his word. And they all are about elevation. He has promises in his word of things that he's going to do. And he has things that he wants us to do. Why are we waiting? When we pray, we may say, Lord, why are you have me waiting? I'm going to ask you that same question. Why are you waiting? Everything here is going to be for your empowerment to help you to be in a better position now than you were a day ago. Why are you waiting? Now, I want to talk to you about how do you go from here, where you are right now, where you are is a great place. <laughs> We've learned a lot this week. Where you are is a great place and you're ready to move forward and to do some things differently. But we haven't talked about how do we actually make money in the market? I know I see the possibility of making money, but I haven't done anything to make money in the market. How do I go from here where you've dropped me off, Carol, and you say, this is the last day you just drop me off like GPS. Tell me I'm at my location and I ain't really there yet. Have you guys ever had that happen? Have you put the GPS on and you're trying to get to where you're going? And then they say, arrived. And you look up and you ain't there. I'm like, I have not arrived. Where, where is it? And, and I'm sitting here trying to look and find where it is. I don't want, that has happened to me. I don't want to do that to you. I don't want to say, stock savvy's over, you've arrived, you're ready to make money in the market. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you four savvy steps to go from where you are right now. And if you've had GPS do that to you, just put, it's done that to me. I mean, it just says, arrived, you've arrived. I'm like, I'm not here. I, where? I don't see nothing that I told you to get me to. And then I have to go around the corner and I see it. I was like, this ain't right. I'm not trying to do that. So I'm going to give you four savvy steps to get from where you are right now to making money in the market. The four savvy steps are number one, I want you to learn about, learn about and stay abreast, stay on top of market concepts, terms, the current events that's going on and the economic cycles. We got to stay on top of what's going on out there. So with that, a second thing I want you to do is to develop stock research and stock watching skills and techniques. Know how to find what company stocks or do do this, what they do. We've learned a lot. I, I really enjoyed yesterday when we went through what one of these companies did. Uh, one of these companies did. We went to the profile section. It's nice to see what these companies do. They have a lot of information in there. I want you to learn how to find this information, how to seek out these companies and see what they do. Number two, you're going to need to understand you. You're going to need to understand your investing personality. You're going to need to understand your investing style and understand how much time commitment you have to put in things like this to make money in the market. And then the fourth thing, why wait? Practice and go for it. You got to just go for it. Let me break these steps down. The number one step is to learn about and stay abreast of market concepts and terminology. These are some terms and concepts that I want you to really understand. The Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P, the market sectors, volatility, earnings season, SEC, and more. This is just a short list of things that you're going to need to really know and not have to flip through a book to get it. Just kind of know what it is so that you can listen to it in passing and in conversation and, and know what these things are. So when you see a news story, you can relate that. You know what they're talking about. So stay abreast of it and understand what these things are. We've learned some of these today. You no, know, this week we learned a lot about researching stocks, which is this, develop stock research and stock watching skills and techniques. So we did a lot of fundamental analysis and that's looking at the company financials, the health, looking at the numbers, looking at the leadership, looking at the business strategies, looking at the facts about the company, not what we think is going to happen, what really is, what is in black and white about this company. Those are the fundamentals. That's not what I feel about it. This is the 52 week low and the 52 week high. This is when they release their earnings. This is the high that it's been for the year. This is, you know, it's, these are just the facts.
Okay. The technical analysis, technical analysis, we didn't do very much, but technical analysis is where you're looking at the charts and graphs and you're really plotting things out to see historical information about how this company has performed in the past. So with that, we, the only technical analysis that we touched on is when we did savvy stock charting. And we just did a very simple charting example. So technical analysis is the charting graphs. Fundamental analysis is where you're looking at the company facts. And I like to say know about how to do both. So you can, no company can hide anything from you. They can't hide it from you because they're publicly traded companies. They put it out there. But if it's in a language that you don't understand or if it's in concepts that you don't understand, it's just as well as being hidden from you. So understand how to develop stock research. You're on your way for that. You're already on your way with stock savvy sessions. Number three, I want you to understand you, understand your your personal investing style, your personality, and how much time you would put in this. Are you someone that starts something and then you get bored with it real quick? It's like, oh, I, I ain't looking at that no more. Are you somebody that says, you know, I really uh, am, I'm a go-getter. Once I get started on this thing, it's going to be all that I do. You kind of need to know you. You need to know if you're more conservative. If anytime you put money in the market, if your heart going to be beating so fast that you can't hardly sleep at night because of the anxiety associated with the possibility of loss, you really need to know you so that we can understand how to make this work for you. There's a strategy for everybody. Looking at these marbles, every one of these marbles are different. This one here, this one at the front, I, I, you can't see my mouse, but it has green at the top, it has red at the bottom, and it has a little streak of yellow right between there. No other marble has a streak of yellow. There's nothing wrong with that streak of yellow. Just because this marble has yellow in it, it doesn't mean that it can't function just like a marble and it can't win a game for you just like these others that don't have that streak of marble. So I want to tell you to be you, learn you so that you can get investments that fit you and that you can find a process and a strategy that works for you. You don't have to change. As a matter of fact, if you're my student or my client, I don't want you to change. I want you to be you because we're trying to really move you into getting into investing in the market in a way that works for your everyday life. This should be something that just like if you exercise on a regular basis, you've just worked that into your everyday life, right? That's what we want. Understand you. And then the fourth step, practice it and do it. Enough said. Why wait? Why procrastinate? Why know that this is something that you're interested in and that you why why wait? I just don't I don't understand that waiting. If you know a little bit about my conversation and a little bit about my personality, you can guess from my conversation that I am one of those just go-getters. I just I just do it. I just jump out there, bam. We'll see what happens. I'll deal with what happens when it happens. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not like that when it comes to physical safety. Physical safety. If you say, mm, Carolyn, you want to go bungee jump? No, I am not interested in bungee jumping. I am not interested in bungee jumping or doing anything that is physically uh, dangerous. No, I'm, I'm a wimp when it comes to physical. But when it comes to stepping out there and doing things, especially strategic and behind a computer. Yeah, I'm your girl. I'm your girl. <laughs> So with that, I want to share with you, I have a program in which I can put do this for you. You say, where can I get started with this? Carol, and I don't want to wait anymore. How can I get started? I want to tell you about my program, and I have a program that's up and coming. It's not a class. It's a program, and I'm going to tell you why I call it a program. My program is 21 Days to Stock Market Investing. The 21 days of stock market investing is just what it sounds. In 21 days, you are going to learn what you need to learn to make money investing in the stock market in 21 days. You don't have to have any prior stock market knowledge. It's going to be an online course with live web teachings. There's going to be three live classes in 21 days. It's not 21 days straight. It's every Monday. So for the next three weeks, there's going to be 21 days. There's, there's going to be three lessons. There's going to be homework, biblical investing lessons, re resource guides, downloadable resources. There's group coaching, live coaching and learning and getting with individuals that are doing the same thing as you. You know, that sounds a lot like stock savvy sessions, doesn't it? 
Because what I did in Stock Savvy Sessions is I took my 21 days program, I scaled it back a little bit and put it into a four day program and called it Stock Savvy Sessions. If you were able to learn here on learning from me, teaching live here on Facebook, going to Money Reverse University, getting in the classroom, doing the homework, asking questions there, downloading resources. This is the exact same thing as the 21 days class. I proved to you, if you were able to do that, that you can learn in a digital online course with an instructor that cares. The way that I taught here at Stock Savvy Sessions is the same way that I teach in 21 Days class. It, I will use visual aids, we'll use examples, we'll give you homework, and I will tell my personal stories and I will talk to you in a way that helps you to understand it, not using financial uh garbage or gar garble, I'll put that, not garbage. Now, one thing that we, a few things that we did not do in the stock savvy session. In the 21 days course, we have an investing personality assessment. I will give you an assessment. Everybody will get an individual assessment to help them to understand them, to know your investing personality, whether you're conservative, whether you're moderate and know kind of know you, help you to know you. Now, so this is also something that we have in the 21 days course is I will trade with you. I will set up a virtual portfolio and trade with you for 45 days. We'll go through all of the learning lessons and then set up an environment so you can actually trade against the real market, but using virtual money, using fake money. So before you put one penny in the market, you have been with me for 21 days of lesson and 45 days of virtual trading. Now, most of my students, by the time they start class, they're they're trading already. They have they they go and open a brokerage account on the first day. They're like, oh, yeah, thank you for telling me about a brokerage account. I'm, I open that. I got it funded and they are ready to trade because they're saying, why am I watching this in a class? And I can be trading this and making money on this right now. And many of them do. Now, after that, that 45 days, it's not over. As a matter of fact, it's just starting. You now have a six month subscription to my graduates forum. This is where all of the individuals that have taken my class in the past, they get to stay with me in a coaching format. It's in a, it's group coaching, meaning you have to ask questions in the group to get responses back, but you can ask questions of me, ask questions of everybody else. There's monthly advanced classes. So I'm not just those, these classes for the 21 days lesson is not all you get. I'm going to continue to teach you additional lessons. There is a video training library of over two 150 video lessons that I have done in the past. You again have more virtual trading available to you. All of this is available to you for this whole six months. Now I will prop, pop in and do live and prompt to market updates. Now I do this when we see market volatility. Anytime that we see the market really going up and down, up and down, I will pop in and give you a live update of what's going on. I do that on Wednesdays about noon. I post in the group to say, hey, I'm going live today. I'm going to tell you what's going on in the market and you can ask me questions. You have access to group coaching. The way you get me in group coaching is you just ask questions in the group and I will answer your questions right out there for everybody else. So you can benefit for every, from everybody's questions too. And then there's so much more that comes with this. Let me see. I got some more stuff I'll tell you about. Oh yeah. Once you take this 21 days to stock market investing class, you have access to it for your lifetime. You have access to go back and rewatch your course for the rest of your life. If you say, oh, my goodness, I forgot about this. Just go back. You have lifetime access to it. So don't think, oh, my God, how long do I have this? I got six months or a year. The rest of your life, you can go back and watch that course. And you have access to your live group coach that cares about your success. I hope that you see in the Stock Savvy sessions that I do really do want you to succeed in your financial life there's, there's, you know, it's my calling. It's what the Lord has called me to do is to teach what his word says about money and to teach practical application of how to do it. And I'm not teaching you what I've read about. I'm teaching you what I've done. So this is my calling. I can't tell you how satisfying it is for me so much so that I do so much stuff for free that I don't make no money half the time because I'm so excited just to do what the Lord has called me to do. This is why I do stock savvy sessions. I don't make money from you guys taking stock savvy sessions, but trust me, I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid with the satisfaction of saying, yes, Lord, I'm doing what you've called me to do.
Now you do have the option. Once you take my course, you have the option of joining my quick money trading group. This is a group that I've told you about of traders that I work with every day. These are individuals that say, we want to make money in the market every day. We want to do some short term. Mama need a new pair of shoes and I want to have money to pay off debt. I want to have money to bring income into my household. And I want to use some funds that I have to do that. So this is my quick money trading group. That is a separate subscription, but you have to take my full program to be able to be in that group because I can't teach the class in that quick money trading group. So once you take the course, you are available to join that group at any time. So this is a true nine to 10 month experience with me. And I'm going to serve you throughout that time to help you to make money in the market. It is my goal to be your coach. It's my honor to be your coach to help you to make money in the market. So all of this is my program, 21 Days to Stock Market Investing. Let me share with you uh, how much this program is and when the next offering is going to be. This program for one individual, it's only $3,100 per student. You can pay $3,100 or you can pay, four, pay over four months. You're going to be with me for nine nine months. So I'll let you pay it over a four month period of time. Each for each of these four months, you'd pay $820 that there's a little bit of premium on that. That takes it up to 3280 total. And you can see what the dates here on the left in November. It's the class starts in November. The program starts in November. Again, every Monday, the 13th, the 20th and the 27th. Now, this is valued at $5,200. If you have taken any stock programs from anyone else, or if you have looked into taking a full-fledged program about learning how to invest in the stock market, I want you to <laughs> let me know what you saw prices like. I know that I am less than half the price of my competitors. I know that. I know that. I don't advertise out to the full market. I, I don't, this is the only advertising I do. I go by word of mouth because I have a circle of people that I want to get to. And these are my friends and the friends of my friends before I go and take my prices all the way up to what my competitors are charging. If you have looked, if you haven't looked, I wanted you to take that away, take away and go look up stock market investing courses and see for a full program that gives you even some of the things that I'm offering. See what the price is. I know. I know my price is low. <laughs> it may look high to you, but it's low for what you get, because this is for a lifetime investment, a lifetime of return. You'll be able to see this for the rest of your life. Now, if you say, I want to do this with my spouse, my spouse and I both want to do this. It's $6,200 for a couple and the couples can also pay over four months. If you say, I don't have $6,200, but I want to be in this November 13th program when it starts for $1,640, you, you can both be in this program in November and pay $1,640 for an additional three months for four monthly payments. Again, there's a little bit of premium there that takes it to $65.60 total after you pay it over the four month period of time. So with that, this is the program. This is the price. I think it is a great value. If you look up, if you look up what other programs cost, you will say, wow, why does she charge so cheap? Well, because you know me and you know somebody that I know. I'm not advertising to the great 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 grand world. I don't I don't have advertisement out there like that yet. So with that, and I may never do it. I don't know. I don't know. I may never do it that way. Who knows? But let me let me show show you some more, more things. If you say, okay, Carolyn, I think that that program would be good, but let me, let me tell you some more things that you're going to be able to get with the program. I'm going to give you some empowering bonuses and they're waiting for you right now. <laughs> Remember I talked about stock watching. You got to learn how to research stocks and wa watch stocks. I have a training bonus number one, six simple steps to stock watching. This is step-by-step -step instructions. Watch for potential stocks to buy in just 45 seconds a day. Stock watching does not take you all day. It can't take you all day. You can't. We got jobs to do. We got lives to live. So then this training, I'm going to give you six simple steps I'm going to say whoop out your phone and this is what you download. This is what you do. And I'm going to get you set up so that you can watch stocks in just 45 seconds a day. 
You're going to be able to learn the personality of stocks. You're going to be able to see how the overall markets are performing, set up watch list and all of the things that's required to watch stocks. Because when you're in the market, you're going to need, how, need to know how to watch stocks. If you sign up today, you get this teaching today. It is in Money Reverse waiting for you right now. This is bonus number one. Now, bonus number two, remember how I told you about this graduates forum where everybody that graduates from this course gets access, six months access to this graduates forum where we have live monthly trainings. We have a video library of over 250 videos. You got tools and worksheets. You got access to me to answer questions in a group mode. You get virtual trading. You get biblical investing lessons. You'll be there for the impromptu live market updates. You get fun and so much more. When you sign up for this class early, when you sign up for this class, no matter what time you sign up, instead of putting you in this graduates forum after the training is over, I'll give you immediate membership. So instead of six months, you will get nine months. You'll, you'll go in there now and you'll be in there until after the six months after your class ends. So you'll get an extra month or so in the graduates form. So this is beneficial. Let me tell you what's going on in the graduates form right now. <laughs> I'm getting ready to say this again, y'all. If you have already taken my program, you know. And so look here, we got eight powerful training classes in 20. 2023. Yeah, we said live monthly training. I know you I know you said that, Carolyn. Yeah. But let me tell you what happened. Let me let me tell y'all what happened. What had happened was, you know, I got real busy earlier this year. I had a lot of things going on and I did not make all of these trainings, the monthly trainings. So what I promised the group is that they're going to get 10 of these before the end of the year. There's eight remaining. So between now and and December 31st, there's going to be eight live trainings on subjects that are above and beyond what you're going to learn in the 21 days class. Eight between now and December 31st. Like I said, we may here, be here on New Year's Eve. This may be my New Year's Eve party. I'm just broadcasting to nobody. But the thing about it, if you sign up for our program here, you get to get immediate access and you get in on these eight trainings also. How cool is that? Oh, my God. How cool is that? We'll talk more about oil and everything else. I can tell you some of the subjects that we. Oh, yeah. Yeah. IPOs. We're going to talk about IPOs. We're going to talk about oh, a whole lot of stuff. We're going to talk about monthly dividends, a whole lot of stuff. So with that, if you when you join this program, this is the second bonus that you get. But there's more. Now, I do have an early bird special. If you enroll by 11 1 that's not sunday 11 1 before 11 2 11 1 is that's on a wednesday i got up there sunday but it's not sunday it's wednesday if you register and enroll in this course before 11 59 p.m eastern time on 11 1 you can get this full program for 2900 a person Full program for $2,900 a person, whether you're an individual, whether you're a couple, whether you want to pay one time or whether you want to pay over four months, the total price is $2,900. So if you are an individual and want to pay over four months, that takes your payment down from $820 down to $725 per month. So if it's for $725, you will be in the program on November 13th. For couples, for $14.50, both of you are in on November 13th when the first lesson starts. Now, remember, you've got to use a coupon code early one or it's not going to recognize you as wanting this discount. And at 11.59 p.m. Eastern on 11.1, this coupon code, poof, it's going to look like it's it was never there. So I won't be able to go back and put it back in for you. So if this is something that you think you want to do, take some time up to 11-1. And why wait? Why wait? I, I, you know, why wait? If you know this is something that you want to do in this season, you don't have to do it today. I'm not going to push. I'm not going to push anybody. Um, but I do want to give you an opportunity to get uh, an early bird discount. Okay.
Now, money back guarantee. I do have a money back guarantee. I guarantee that this is going to provide you the education to research and trade stocks and ETFs. After completing the 21 days of coursework and the 45 days of virtual trading, if you don't know what you're doing after this, you will get your money back. Now, I want you to read the fine print here. What the prime, fine print says is in order to be eligible for this money back guarantee, you're going to need to attend the lessons live and you're going to need to complete the homework and you're going to need to complete the 45 days of virtual trading. If you do those things, I promise you, you're going to know what you're doing. But I'm not going to say you didn't show up live for the class because you don't have to be live for the class. You can watch the class all on video. It's going to be recorded in, in Money Reverse University. So you can watch the class on video if you never show up to a live class. But that just negates the money back guarantee for you because I got to be able to see you and answer your questions to make sure that what I'm teaching you is not giving you what you need to do it. And that hasn't been the case. Nobody has ever asked for their money back in this course in all the years that I've been teaching it. I teach it the way the Holy Spirit taught me. And when I do it that way, people just get it. They just get it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The way the Lord taught me, here are some, here are some testimonials of individuals that say that they, they got it. Thank you, Marcine. Thank you, Marcine. Marcine has taken the course. Thank you so much. It is such an honor for me to, to hear people say, I got it. I understood it. I've been trying to understand this for a long time or I was afraid to understand. I, I was thinking I couldn't, but you explained it in a way that I get it. So here is just a summary again. If you're an individual and want to be in this final, and this is my final time teaching this. I teach this live. And so I teach it to maybe three times a year. So with that, this is my final teaching for the year 2023. If this is a goal that you had to move into financial elevation, then this is your time to come with Money Reverse. It would be my honor to be your instructor for this. Here's the details. The course is $3,100. If you register on the last day, you'll be at $3,100. If you want to, if you know this is something that you want to do, enroll by 11-1 and you'll get everything for $2,900 a person. If you're an individual, if you're a couple, if you want to pay one time, or if you want to pay over time, it's still $2,900. You get the two bonuses, the stock watching lesson that's available for you now, and you get immediate access to the graduates forum. So you get an additional eight teachings. You're going to be so sick of me. Oh, my God. You're going to be so sick of teachings, <laughs> but you're going to be so empowered. You're going to be ready to do. You're going to be ready to do stuff. If you got money to put in the market, you're going to know what to do before the end of the year. And you, I, I promise you, if you'll do it, if you'll go ahead and step out there, you'll make money before the before the end of the year. I promise you, I'm going to give you enough stuff where you'll know exactly what to do. Now, if you're a couple, here's the same thing. It's $2,900 a person if you enroll by 11-1. Otherwise, it's $6,200 per couple. And you can do that in a one-time payment or pay over a period of four months. You're going to be with me for nine months. So, you know, a period of four months, I think that's fair. I think that's fair so that you can not have to break the bank day one to get in. You want if you know you want to get in this program and you say, I can I can float that first payment, then this is the time. This is why I do this, because I want to get you in. Now, I am ready to answer all of your questions. I'm going to put the link in the comments here where you can enroll in the class. If you go to Money Reverse University then you can also see where there is a lesson there where you can just click and enroll, go and see information to enroll in the class. So I've just put the link in the comments here where you can enroll in the 21 days course. So with that, and if you say, let me see if you have any questions, I'm going to actually show my face to see if you have any questions. Let me look through. Thank you so much, Marcine. Oh, yeah. I just, Sherry said, I haven't brought any. Okay. Okay. That's, that's fine, Sherry. Thank you so much. I appreciate, I appreciate your support. For those of you that come out and sit with me through the Stock Savvy Sessions, I appreciate each of you. It is, it is just good to not teach to ether. <laughs> I'm going to teach to ether though. I have done that. When the Lord told me to do this, I say, I'm going to teach. If nobody's out there, I have taught lessons and nobody has been there before. 
because I know I'm creating a video and somebody may see it later. If you think this is something that people in your timeline would be interested in, then go ahead and share it out. They'll watch it later. I had to learn, Carolyn, it is not about what other people, if other people are there. Did the Lord say, Carolyn, teach the people, tell my people what I told you if they're there to listen? No, he told me to tell you. If you're not there to listen, it's okay. I'm still telling it. <laughs> So it is great to have individuals there. Thank you all for your support. I pray that you got something in Stock Savvy. I'm listening. Everybody says they learned something, which is great. Thank you. I am That honors me. Now, I know that this is, I'm not seeing any questions. So I know that this is a, a high priced ticket item. And you may say, I just... I, I got some questions that I just don't want to ask here, but I do have some questions. I'm going to put a link here where you can schedule some time with me and get on my calendar and we can have some one on one time and I can answer your questions. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, it's it's a high ticket item when you buy high ticket items. Most times you, you know, I probably need to talk to somebody before I before before I buy a car. I want to talk to somebody. You know, I'm not I'm not there yet where I could just do it digitally. Um, not not yet. But I also put another link in the comments and it is a link to my calendar to schedule a 15 minute meeting with me. And we can sit. I can answer your questions uh, individually, just uh, you and I in a private meeting. Uh, we'll we'll do it in a Zoom meeting. Um, yeah, we'll do it in a Zoom meeting. So it looks like I'm having it says I'm having Internet problems. Hmm. If, if you guys are there, let me know. If somebody's there, can you just say I'm here? So yeah, it says it looks like I'm having Zoom uh, internet problems, but that's okay. Well, if somebody's there, let me know. And if not, I will. Uh, oh yeah, here. Thank you. Thank you. So I put that link in the in the comments so you can uh, just schedule some time with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So what it looks like is that my link did not go out to Facebook. So okay, good deal. Good deal. I'm going to put try that one again and put the link to schedule time with me. Yeah, it looks like it went out that time. OK, well, I'm not seeing any questions. Thank you all for joining. I look so forward to this upcoming 21 days class, 21 days to stock market investing. I'm also going to be watching the price of a barrel of oil very closely. Those of you that are part of my if you've taken my course already, definitely reach out to me in the group and ask me questions. I don't want you to miss this or miss the opportunity to to potentially make some money in oil stocks. It's not the only thing you'll do, but like I say, oil, it does this on a regular basis. So even if you say this time for this, this wave of the dance, I want to watch, I want you to watch with a little bit of intelligence. So the next time you'll know how to, how to bust a move too. Okay. Well, that's all that I have. Again, Carolyn Williams with Money Reverse. It is such an honor for you to be here with me. Thank you for those of you that are live. If you're watching on the replay, thank you for joining in. I will definitely be popping back in here for some other teachings. If you're a part of my graduates group, you know, we got at least eight more teachings to go out there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, y'all. I'm going to do it. It may be New Year's Eve, but we're still up doing another market teaching, but we're going to get eight in before the end of the year because I want to make sure I give you what I promised you I give you. Okay. Well, everybody have a great evening and uh, thank you so much. I thank God for you too, Marcine. Have a great evening, everybody, and be blessed.